Okay, we're, today we're going to talk about algebra basics. The first thing I want to cover is terms versus factors. This seems to be a big problem. Um, students get it always mixed up. So I want to talk about this right off the bat so you guys can see and practice it. Term is a mathematical expression that is the product of numerals and or variables that are separated by plus or minus signs. For an example, 3x minus 4y plus 12z. 3x is a term, negative 4y is a term, and 12z is a term. Notice they're separated by plus and minuses, so this is a term, term, term. Factor is a mathematical expression used to form a product. Examples would be 4x squared y. Even though this whole thing is a term, inside the term there's a factor. 4 is a factor because it's multiplied by the x squared and the y. So the 4, the x squared, and the y are all factors. Let's practice with one and we'll talk about what the terms and the factors are. What are the terms and factors of 2a plus 4ab plus 5a times b plus c? Okay, the terms. Let's talk about that first. The first term is 2a, which is separated. This is a term. The second term is 4ab. And the third term is 5a plus b plus c. So I have three terms here. One, two, three. Okay? Factors. In the term 2a, the 2 is multiplied by the a, so there's two factors there. What are the factors? The 2 and the a. In the term 4ab, how many factors are there? Well, there's three. It's 4 times a times b, so I have three factors. And the third term is 5a times b plus c. This whole thing is a term. Inside there, we have three factors. I have the 5 as a factor, the a is a factor, and the b plus c is a factor. If it's in parentheses, it still is a factor, and it's multiplied inside. There are two terms in there, but this is a factor, factor, factor. Okay, let's talk about some common terminology that you're going to need to know, and I want you to write these all down. The first one is like terms. Terms that have the same variable part. Examples. 4x squared and 2x squared are like terms because their variable part is the same. I can combine them. Just as the 4x and the 2x are like terms, I can combine those two. I can't combine these two or these two because they're different variable parts. Monomial is another word for term. So when you hear the word monomial, it's like we talked about before, it's just a term. Okay? A polynomial, poly means many, is the sum of monomials or terms that have been added and subtracted together. A rational number is the quotient of two whole numbers. Example with that would be two-thirds. That's a rational number. A rational expression is the quotient of two polynomials. So if I took, for an example here, I have 2x plus 3 over 5x squared plus 7x plus 4. Those two are polynomials divided or a quotient, therefore it's a rational expression. Multiplying polynomials. Given two polynomials in this form with two parentheses, a plus b times c plus d, you must double distribute to obtain. When I mean double distribute, I mean doing the distributive property more than once. Actually, you end up doing it four times. So here is my problem, a plus b times c plus d. What you're going to do is you're going to multiply the a times the c, and you're going to get ac. Then you're going to multiply the a times the d to get AD. What I like to tell my students a lot of times is use that when you're done using that and multiplying it and distributing, cover it up, and then now you're going to look at the B, and we're going to say B times C to get BC, and then B times D to get BD. So I end up with four terms after I distribute. Okay? 
An example here with numbers in it would be x plus 3 times x minus 7. If I multiply x times x, you'd get x squared. And if I multiply x times negative 7, I get negative 7x. Now I'm going to take the 3 times the x, I get 3x. Now if you notice, and I have this little star thing here, it says always check to combine terms. If I do the 3x, I see that these two have the same variable part, so I'm going to make it easy on myself and put them in a column because I know I can combine them. And then I can do 3 times negative 7, I get the negative 21. I draw this line, I add them up. x squared, negative 7x plus 3x is negative 4x, and nothing goes to the negative 21. So I end up with x squared minus 4x minus 21.